What's going on everyone? Nelson from Hoopin' Life. Here with me I have Andrew from the Fung Brothers. What's Let's up? And unfortunately, David will not be joining us on today's episode because he had dinner plans. So here's another episode of Check Up. So for today's topic, we're going to discuss why it is important for people, not necessarily like elite NBA basketball players, but like, you know, the average people who likes to play basketball, why it is important to dunk the basketball. And when we're talking about dunking, we're not just talking about on a 10-foot hoop because most people cannot dunk on a 10-foot hoop. Right. But it's even important for kids growing up playing basketball. It's important for them to know what it feels like to dunk on like a 7-foot hoop or something. Like, yeah. 5-foot hoop. 4 feet, 5 feet, 6, 7, 8. Whatever, Nine, whatever, whatever you can try to dunk on, we're going to talk about why it is important to do so. It's <laughs> tight to it's dunk cool. on people. When you're playing ball and trying to yam on somebody. <laughs> Yammy. Hey, all right, different words for dunking, real quick. Yam, bang out, slam, uh, jam, leaped on you, like he, he shit on you, boomed, he boomed, boomed on, on you. you, yep, crammed on you, Cram, crammed, crammed it crammed in on, you. on you, he put you to sleep, yeah. killed you, yeah. he destroyed you, RIP'd you. To me, dunking is like the most alpha thing to do in basketball. Yeah, yeah. You feel like a man when you do it. And I would say, in a similar way, lowering the hoop just to dunk is important because let's say you just make it on to the varsity team but you're like getting no burn you're like a bench player you need to get your reps in and you need to play against some lower competition and start busting shots in people's faces you need to cross people up like if you need to go to lower levels just to get that feeling and get those reps in that's really important too it's just you need to practice and practice <laughs> i'm not a dunker but i like practicing dunks at least growing up, it was important for me to know how to dunk. You know, me and David, we'd always have dunk contests. We'd have dunk on contests, try yeah. to yam it on each yeah. other. We, we have one on one, one on one dunk fest where yeah. you'd be like, "Yo, challenge me! I'm about to cram it in your face." Yeah, and it'd be like, "Hell, now nah, you ain't! I'm about to block your yeah. booty to the ground." Dunk cam, dunk cam. <laughs> block your booty. <laughs> I mean, dunking is one of the most fun things to do. You know? It is. It's, yeah, it's, it's the most amazing play, I would say, in right. basketball. Like, yeah. most physical play. Right, right. It's, right. It's, it's the most hype play. Not everyone would go crazy hype or, you know, celebrate on a super layup or something. Yeah. But every time someone dunks the ball, you know, everybody go, Hold me back! Hold me back! I think because it's such a play of physical dominance. And obviously, when it comes to a sport, that's like, like a release. Like you're the top dog, like you just did something spectacular. It gives you that boost of confidence sometimes yeah. that you need. I would say even a lot of NBA players, they'll lower the rims yeah. just so that they can do all the crazy dunks. Right, like too. for example, like Kyrie Irving. I think I've seen this clip of him, you know, with his friends and they're just at home. They lower the rim and then they yeah. start doing crazy spectacular dunks. Why don't you just walk out to it and jam? <laughs> Wait, you guys are oh! <laughs> or they just do it on a little tiny toy hoop like yeah. whatever it is let's talk about like for a beginner like a kid like I think growing up you need that experience you need to know what it feels like to physically overtake somebody in the game of basketball it's kind of like grabbing a good rebound over somebody yeah. that's like that same feeling like you yeah it's almost yeah. like yeah <laughs> give me that hey hey they say this move is a dunk but it might also just be a rebound i just think like for me it also builds that aggression that you do need to be a good basketball player if you have that in you it motivates you to also play harder in, in other aspects and in a way it kind of proves that you're not a soft player you know? yeah because you're not a timid player you want to have that aggression to dunk it shows that you want to attack the basket you know in a very aggressive way prime yeah. example would be russell westbrook right every time he drives in the lane he would want to bang on someone or he want to dunk it as hard as he can clearly russell got that aggression in him. of course you can see it in his face and his celebrations after every dunk yeah and i just think it's good to exercise that sometimes whatever it is you need to get it out unleash the beast in you yeah just getting that out when you dunk man plus it's just really fun yeah. like to do with your friends one of my favorite games growing up to play was 21 mm -hmm. on like a seven and a half foot hoop because then you can do tip jams when you tip jam somebody and they go back down to zero it's like the ultimate clown it's like when when kemp did the lister blister he just points at Yo, you down to zero also it works on body control no it does and it low-key works on your vertical jumping and yeah. it helps you increase your balance you're at your backyard you, you lower to eight feet you know you practice doing crazy dunks and eventually just move it up to eight and a half eight to nine feet and then who knows? Yeah. To increase yeah. your vertical, you gotta jump. Yeah. I mean, you gotta grow, jump yeah, high. growing up, I did that. I had a adjustable court uh, in my backyard. 
I would always, you know, go out, you know, me and my sister. It's good times, man. <laughs> hey, yo, sister, can you uh, get under the hoop? <laughs> Woo! Stand right there and let me uh, jump over you like hey. Nate Rob on Spud Webb. Dude, the most clouded is sometimes when someone is like the decoy, right? And yeah. they've got their attention and then your friend's standing underneath the hoop. And oh, then yeah, you just all come the time. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I love that. It's like you set them up for a slam <laughs> that moment. Yeah, I used to do that at my Saturday practices with those kids. Oh man. Shout out to you kids. Dude, good memories, A lot man. of victims out there from me. <laughs> hey, leave a comment if you are a victim of Nelson on the slam cam. Before there was cams. I know, yeah. Before the slam cam, it was just slams. I just love dunking, man. And even for me, when I was able to dunk a mini ball on a 10 foot hoop, which I've only done like two or three times in my life, it was like an amazing feeling, man. Yeah. It was like climbing a mountain. Right. We can't always do that all the time, so when we get the chance to actually be able to accomplish that, you know, it, it's a, it's an amazing feeling. So, I would uh, say, uh, just feel like a man. Or a strong woman. If we're having a dunk contest on a little hoop, what is your go-to dunk in your books? Right, my go-to, my favorite, that actually I think I look good when I do it, is a 360 tomahawk. I'm that not gonna lie, really nice. not, not every dunk that I do looks as cool as I'd like to. My best dunk on a lowered hoop, I would have to say, is the off the backboard between the legs. That's crazy. It's that's pretty that. impressive, even if it's yeah. on a little hoop. My last important key thing is, you know, try to work on getting that feeling in of dunking, you know, bringing that confidence, bringing that respect from people. I just think dunking on any height of a hoop and screaming is like a good experience for you. Like, as a athlete you need to have that experience of yelling i know a lot of kids out there they don't want to open up they don't want to seem like they're being disrespectful or they don't want to embarrass themselves by maybe yelling but man just dunking on i mean even when you block somebody and kind of yelling and just like releasing that letting that come out letting that showmanship come out is really important because at the end of the day if you're trying to get better at basketball you're trying to be seen in some way our message is go dunk on a seven foot hoop if you haven't already you can't dunk on a seven foot hoop do it at a four foot Fisher Price court hoop, whatever just, hoop just start, that you can start on. Just dunk. Get to just, dunking. Just it. go grab that ball, go out to your nearest hoop, and just go. Ah! It's you gotta know what it's like to execute the most exciting play of basketball. Absolutely. So go get your dunk <laughs> on right now. Thank you guys for watching that video on why it is important to dunk the basketball. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Did you like this video on what we're talking about? Do you have a hoop that you normally just go you know, get your dunk on and stuff? Share this video with your friends. Dunk on your friends. Watch this video over here. Watch this video over here. And until next time, we out. Check, Check up. up.